Hey everybody, this is a glider cat and it's time to play. We are back in Foundry. I'm just watching the moon kind of rise up in the sky. Man, that looks pretty cool. I'm liking it. All right, between episodes, I was having some issues with the sound on my microphone. So while I was tweaking it and just experimenting, um, I produced a bunch of Technum rods and Xenoferrite plates. So we have quite a bit of those in inventory. Yeah, because I don't think there's a pause, actually, in Foundry. At least I haven't found a pause function. But anyway, we've got a lot of equipment. I think what we want to do this episode is get to automating um, the first science packs. Let's go over to the research machine here and just see if we have research selected. I think we do. Yeah, basic infrastructure. It's in the top right of the screen. So now we need to look at what is it going to take to make um, the science pack ones. Those guys are over here. Science pack ones. I can handcraft a bunch of them. But let's not do that so much if we can help it. It is an automation game. Let's see if we can actually get to making these things. We need Technum rods, which we already have. So we'll belt those to some central factory and then we need to make machinery parts. I forgot what those were made out of. Machinery parts are just made out of xenoferrite plates. So let's set up some production of machinery parts over where our xenoferrite is. Which one is this? This is our technum. So let's branch off of this platform. Like I said, I did produce a bunch of technum rods and xenoferrite plates already. So let's build off of this guy and you get to crafting a bunch of foundations or building blocks we call them here boom 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 that should be a whole bunch of those crafting and then we can probably while we're at it we know we're gonna need loaders i'm gonna grab 10 of those and then belts i'm gonna queue up a whole bunch of those as well and then we're gonna need what are we going to need over here? We're going to need the new assembler. Let's get a couple of those fired up. Uh, boom, boom. At least two. We'll start small for now. So all that's crafting. We're going to be pulling from our smelter here, right? And it looks like this guy is keeping up. In fact, there's even surplus ore in here. This guy is keeping up with one whole drone farm, you know, um, auto miner, one set of drones here. We may set up more as well. Probably will. I'm not sure how big this deposit is. But let's get on it here. I'm going to extend the foundation quite a bit. may chew back some plants and things as we go. Let me do a little bit of that here too. Need to remember to keep my biomass burners fueled as we're doing this also. So we'll check on that periodically, but let's clear out some space. And we want to make those machine components. So I think we can just belt right out of here. I'm going to give myself a little room. Probably have to wait for that assembler to craft, right? Yeah, we still have a bunch of stuff crafting. Um, but we can do... Let's get some stuff on the hotbar. We have loaders. We have belts on the hotbar. We're going to make more of those. And yeah, we're waiting for things to craft. Let's fill this guy up. And let's get a loader placed here to unload... Okay, intake no conveyor. We want that to be output. Grab my conveyor, bring this out a bit. Boom. Add a little bit more building blocks. Another loader this way. And let's see how much longer till we get our little our dude just in time there's our assembler 
Uh, does this guy have a panel? He does. And he's got three ports. How about... Just like that for now. We can always move these things. In fact, I think we get full credit when we deconstruct. I could be mistaken on that. Alright, you need to build me... Machinery parts. Okay. Easy as pie, right? Now, somewhere out here... Uh, we want to bring Technum Rods... Off of this guy. I don't think the belts need to be on... Um... On building blocks. So maybe we'll start without those. Um, I want to make sure this guy is fueled. So let's do just a little bit of building blocks. I want to pull... These guys out of here. These Technum Rods. Let's put, uh, in fact, we could just pull out the side right like that, right? And then our belt, I think we need at least one foundation block, or building block, I should say, one belt. And then do we have the slanted belts? Might have to craft those special. I do, sloped conveyors. Let's grab, get 10 of those queued up. And then eventually we're going to just extend. Well, let me get that sloped one placed first. I'm not sure if that takes up two squares or just one. Backpack. You can go on the hot bar for now too. Maybe next to the belts would make more sense. Rotate, rotate, and there's a way to change direction. It is... Uh, slope down. Boom. Are we getting stuff coming out? Or does it need to... Yeah, that's intake. Let's just click the big button here and make this output. Here's our Technum Rods. I just kind of want to get somewhere in the middle ground between these two guys. Oh man, that guy kind of sticks out a little bit. Let's see what a loader does. Okay, I'll put mechanical parts. I just want to bring these guys over to some kind of middle ground area. Boom. Do the same over here. We can take this plant out. Obviously going to need a lot more belts and things. Come on with me as far as you can. Let's craft more belts. Tons more belts. Uh, in fact, all the belts you can build. And let me harvest rods. Poink and plates while we're waiting for our belts to craft up. Should fill my biomass burner too while I'm over here. And I want you guys... Okay, they're all being turned into production for mechanical parts. So we'll set up another drone miner once we get this thing going. Where is our line of belts? Way over here. Let's keep this guy going. Gonna follow the train. Follow the train till I see that we're somewhere near meeting up with that one. Looks like it's gonna be. <laughs> looks like it's gonna be right in a weird spot. Um, how do we want to deal with that? I oh, will see. 
It's a weird spot because we're right on the edge of the terrain. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, did I get that one? I did. Hmm, should we drill this down or should we platform all of this up? Uh, we're going to want blocks. Guess we could... Let's drill out a little bit of this area. And then start putting um, building blocks underneath here. And that'll be where we put our machines. We're going to need our own power unless we want to link up building blocks to one of the other platforms that already has its own power. Again, we're doing this. We're going to make try and make science pack ones. This tears up pretty fast. Faster than I remember last time I played, quite a long time ago. Alright, now let's put in some building blocks. We're rocking our way. Uh, let me craft some more building blocks too if we can. We cannot. How many more do I have? 147, so we're okay. I think, are we not okay? It says I have 147. Why can't I build here? Okay. Structure is blocked by world object. Must be... Maybe this stuff's in the way? Hmm. Doesn't appear to be in the way, but let's just take it out out of an abundance of caution here. Can always use the biomass. That's not a drillable thing. Okay, seems happy now. Boom. Boom. And then we want an assembler to put these two things together. So let's get another one of those crafted. If I can, I probably can't. Assembler, yeah. We need plates and machinery parts. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. May have gotten too aggressive in my crafting. Okay, let's uh, just turn this off. That'll allow these guys to kind of stack up. What am I really missing? I'm missing... Uh, auto sort. Yeah, it looks like I'm missing the plates, not the rods, right? Let's grab these. Boom. This seems like it's fairly steady state. There's some extra ore in here. I don't know if I can take that. Be cool if I could kind of grab that out of there and go smelt this surplus over in our little drop pod smelter. Uh, the other thing I can do is think about another drone miner. Let's see if we can get one of those crafted. We know we're going to need to do it. We're going to need more. This guy wants, hey, machinery parts. We can grab those off the belt. I think we just got a whole or out of this machine, probably. Yeah, let's grab these. Boom. And then we'll craft another drone miner. Wait for that guy to finish up. Pop you down. And let's do something similar to what we have going here. We'll need another smelter. This one's not going to take any more input or be able to keep up with any more input. So can we get another smelter? What's that going to take? Xenoferrite plates. Let's see if we have some. We do. Yeah, we might as well scale up this production right now. We know we're going to need lots of building materials. guess I'll just jam it in. I'm not crazy about that. Uh, in fact, I'm so not crazy about it that I'm not going to do it. Um, something about compact factories I just don't like when they're too, too packed in. Let's just 
do this a little bit. And I'm going to put our new smelter right here. Panel. Maybe we'll have the panels face each other. Well, even that's a little snug for my taste. I think I may actually push this over one more. Done. Decision made. Uh, loaders. We still have some of those. Boom. And you can kind of come in here. Or... Yeah. Let's do this. And then belt you to you to you. Deselect that. Okay, this guy is now going to be producing plates for us. This biomass burner will be moved. Take these plates. I'll let this guy go back to doing his thing. And now, uh, what was the original thing we were waiting on? Assembler, right? We want to make one more assembler. At least, uh, we should probably get... Let's craft a couple more of those, just so we have them when we need them. Uh, and I might take two more loaders, too. Okay, we need to get this guy up. Right mouse button, we want to go up. Oh. Boom. And this guy is already level, so we just need to find a place for an assembler. And I guess we're going to route these back to that research station, or we'll just move that research station over here. That's probably what we'll do. Um, yeah, let's think about that for a second. Backpack. Assembler. Panel here. Uh, do you have input ports on the sides? You do. I like it. Boom. Loaders. Guess. You can do this for consistency's sake. Oh, we were over. My bad. Uh, F to remove. I need to, what? Oh, hold down, okay. And then, can I rotate this guy? When I look at it, it doesn't look like it, right? It looks like I'm going to have to delete that, even if I just want to rotate it. Uh, Right-clicking, just checking to see if there's any shortcut. There isn't that I can find yet. Hold down. Okay, let's just make these guys hop into there. That guy is set to intake. This guy is set to intake. That's what we want. Um, biomass burner, or should we link these together? Probably should link these all together at some point, right? Probably should have done that here too. Just carved out underneath there. For now, we'll throw down another biomass burner. Craft. Do I have one in inventory? I don't. Uh, I don't have what I need. I need xenoferrite plates. That's going to be straight ahead. Fortunately, we should have some backing up over here. Boom. Those are all being turned into mechanical components, or machinery parts, I should say. So let's craft, yeah, the biomass burner. Just one of those. Pop them on the corner here. Boom. Boom. This guy needs a recipe. There we go. And are we producing? see inputs coming in. I see smoke billowing out, and I see a very slow progress bar. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we might need to scale this one early, huh? Might need to scale this one early, and then I need to think about how we're going to handle the outputs. Hmm. 
we want to scale this. Meaning setting up multiple assemblers, doing science pack ones, and then having all those outputs kind of collect. What we could do um, is we could have the inputs come in from one side. Yeah, we don't have like long, long reaching um, loaders. I think those come later. That's going to be way too slow, right? We definitely need to scale that up early. So let's think about it for a second. If I bring these machine parts over this way. How could we do it without having um, better loaders that can reach over a belt. We'd have to... Yeah, we'd have to do some belt hopping. Oh, I don't even have the ability to split a belt, I don't think. Uh, let's see what I can craft. I think we're fairly limited. Uh, science packs, metallurgy, that's just smelting. Handhelds. Yeah, we're a bit limited until we get that basic infrastructure researched. We're going to have to do it kind of hokey, which means we're going to do some rework. Hmm. I don't have a way to split these belts. I don't think. So I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't. Um, I can do the next best thing, which would be throwing out another belt, another output belt. Man, it's going to be kind of ugly. Let me think about it for a minute, and then we'll come back. back. I'm looking at the uh, tech tree here. Once we get this basic infrastructure done, then we can unlock these guys right here. Loader second lane. And I think that is going to help us tremendous. So rather than build something out that we're just going to have to tear apart, having that second lane loader would allow me to run a belt of one input this way and just keep scaling out into the distance. Run the other belt, the other input on this lane. Keep scaling out. And then have our assemblers just one there, one right there, one right there. And at least they could, um, we could probably have quite a few uh, of these assemblers making science pack ones off of just a single belt of these rods um, and the machinery parts. I'm going to keep calling these things the wrong thing. What are they? Machinery parts, yeah. Let's do that, and what that means is I think we're going to handcraft some some of these guys. Kind of embarrassed. I don't like doing that. I'd rather lean on the automation. Let's grab these science packs. Let's grab our raw kind of smelted materials out of this guy. Boom, and let's make sure this biomass burner is fed. 
do the same thing on the other side, and I'm going to handcraft more science packs. Those are going to probably be slow, too. We can feed him in here. This guy's waiting. Boom. So he has 12 more. Um, not sure how many this needs. Let me grab more materials here, and then we'll take a look. Going to the tech tree. Can we tell? This one only took five science packs for this whole research. Um, it's moving along. It's moving along. We're halfway there. So what we're going to end up doing... We can kind of reconfigure this to meet our needs. This guy... This belt's going to change. Imagine we have... A little loader here. One of those. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, this guy goes. I think there's a way if I control F this. Shift. Okay, let's see. Control F to bulk demolish. Control F. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want that. Don't do it. Control F. Okay. Trying different ways to control F here. Control F. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm clicking and dragging. Oh, there we go. My bad. Okay. Control F up and down. That's fine. I just want you gone. We'll get it. Control F. Starting points, end points, and then I guess another click. Loader here. Boom. That's going to be an intake. Let's get the other research queued up. We want these guys, these second lane loaders, start the research. It takes 20 science packs. Oh man, do we have 20 science packs in there? Let's see if we have any more in inventory. We should. Uh, where are you? Over here. Got eight. Uh, now he's got 19. We might be good. I'm going to handcraft some more just to be safe. In fact, I'll just handcraft everything there. And let's pretend like we got him. We'll design this little bit of factory. This belt is going to be feeding the long reach loaders. Do it like that. Rotate. You're going to come through this way. And this belt is going to change. So all this comes out. Boom. 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 Um, it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of matters where you turn, doesn't it? He's going to be on the inside lane here, so he needs to connect up to this somehow. Boom, and let's do sloped conveyor to get up here. Boom. And then take out some of this. And then just wheel your way over there. You to you. And then this guy gets rotated. There must be a way to rotate these once they're down. Uh, I'll have to see if I can figure that one out. That's what I want. And then we'll do the big loader here, boom, to pull these off. And that'll be the two inputs coming in. We got to think about outputs, how we're going to route those. We'll do that in a bit. Let me put down some more building blocks. And I probably don't have what I need to build another assembler now, do I? Did I build more than one? I did. Let's get another one of these down. 
Um, I think I used to put the panels facing each other and leaving two spaces in between. Something just like that. That'll do. And we know we need a little loader on the first part. Still have some belts so we can place these. You're going to keep on moving. You're going to keep on moving. Um, research is halfway, almost halfway done. Burner, let's feed our burner. And grab some plates or something. Yeah, that guy's still doing parts for us. We'll take this. Uh, let's see if we... Our little um, tablet here. Will it tell us how much ore we have left? It does kind of per chunk, it looks like, right? So there's quite a bit there. What about our ore scanner? Just curious. How much ore is in that whole deposit? It looks like those are just GPS coordinates, right? Uh, what about the map? Does it say... It doesn't seem to, right? It just tells us the height and the size. It doesn't tell us how much ore is in the entire deposit. I wonder if there's a way to figure that out. Let's grab those plates. These guys are just hanging out waiting. Those are both set to intake. That's good. What about the outputs now? Um, I guess we'll have to come out this side and maybe work our way back that way and over kind of thing. Show you what I'm thinking. Loaders. We're going to need to make more of those for sure. Uh, that's an output and that's an output. Craft some more belts. And some more foundations. And maybe some more loaders too. Uh, where are you? So this is kind of our output belt. Uh, we gotta hop over these things kind of slowly, don't we? Boom. I think we can stack a conveyor on here. Like I said, it's been a while. And then this guy, we need to go down. And then we'll send the science packs um, not real far away. I think what we're going to do is just drill this out. Uh, yeah, let's do some drilling. We need power over here, so I'm going to have to drill underneath this thing if I can get to it. So this is just to transmit power, and then I guess I'll drill out all this stuff. We're going to move that research building over to right here, basically. But uh, let's dig down. Kind of hop down here. Let's get ourselves a spot where we can put a powered floor down. Research is done. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We know we're going to need a loader here, right? We're going to load a machine from this belt. I think, I think that'll work. Belt this way, boom, and then we're going to need more space. Don't like things cramped, if I can help it. And you... No, 
let's go tear apart this machine. Hopefully we can get the, uh, the science packs out of here because there's some left over. We have eight uh, with zero. Hmm. Guess, what do we do? We put in the perfect amount, apparently. That might be right. All right, do we have that in our inventory or do we have the components or do we have nothing? Let's take a look. Research server, awesome. Looks like we got to keep it. So no penalty on deleting it. And let's just put this guy right up next door to our loader. And the console or the panel, let's do it right here. Um, thinking, thinking. We may be putting more stuff in here. So let's maybe running more belts into this machine. But for now, this will do. Check it out. We're auto feeding science packs. Um, now we just need to get our this part done. <laughs> these last two things, and we're gonna scale this out more. We'll do as much as these belts can uh, can keep assemblers going. We'll add more assemblers. But let's see if we can build those new belts. There they are. Boom. What's it gonna take? How about one? Oh, I need more resources. What am I short on? Looks like the xenoferrite, right? Plates. Let's go get some of those. While we're here, we can fill our biomass burner. Boom. Oh, we got to get some more biomass. Take some plates. Uh, we can, I guess, we could take those parts too and put them in inventory. Yeah, we'll use them, because we had a bunch of inventory before, and they were just used in crafting. So let's take these while we're here. I don't think they're going to consume our inventory space for very long. It's cool how that machine kind of glows. So yeah, let's see if we can place a loader, the new loaders, and put those on the hotbar. Backpack, that's you. Bam. And we need one more to craft up. Should have what we need to do it now. Two, three, four, five. Let's get five of those. What are we doing on the little guys? Let's get three more of these. One more of those. And we know we need biomass, so let's grab some of that while we're waiting for crafting to happen. We know we're going to be expanding out kind of in this direction, right? With their science pack one production. Oh, check out the water, man. The water is so cool. Uh, when I last played, there was not water in the game. Look at that. Man, that looks awesome. Check out this big planet or in the background. Just noticing that and the moon's coming up or going down. No, the moon's going down. Check that out. Oh, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Apparently our robot is waterproof. Can we drill underwater? Yeah. All right, let's get back to work. We just got to place one more loader and I think we're close to being done with this episode. Um, next episode, I think we should scale this up. That means more mining drones probably over there as well. Uh, even if it's just to like fill storage containers with building materials for us. But yeah, one more loader here, big guy. And let's make sure these are configured right. Intake and intake. Uh, Z to deselect those, and let's check these panels. This guy, you need to make science pack Uno's. That is set to output. That progress bar is going. That progress bar is going. Inventory is empty, which means it's uh, shipping product out. Oh, nice! Look at this. And then we need to just pick research, and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, let's go up. 
And let's see. Oh, wow. Science pack twos. We are going to want to upgrade our character as well, right? Our robot. Faster drilling inventory is kind of going to become, I think, a big deal. And it's going to hurt our productivity if we don't upgrade inventory. What do we have over here that's going to help? Conveyor balancer. That's kind of like a splitter, I believe. Big logistics container. That's kind of useful as well. Do we have a little logistics container? I think we do. Let me just check the crafting menu. Um, I think we can. And this one, if I'm not mistaken, does allow for belting in and out. Yeah, it looks like it's got an in and output ports. We've got these like um, storage crates. We can't belt in and out to those. So they're not totally, not very useful to me anyway. Um, yeah, we got to pick research, make a decision here. That doesn't seem urgent. That doesn't seem urgent yet. Sign stairs, railings, kind of decorative stuff. Lights, can we can get by for a while without lights. Most compelling thing here would be the conveyor balancer to me. We got the second lane loader. Oh, we can't. Yeah, I forget we're in a demo. <laughs> I'm forgetting that we're playing a demo. I can only get so far. Burner generator. That looks like a new, maybe a more efficient power generator than our little biomass burners. Maybe we do one of these character improvement guys. Unlocks inventory slots plus four, takes five. Let's just get that going. That actually won't take long to research, but uh, this is a good stopping place. Let's call it here for this episode. Um, and like I said, next episode, let's see if we can scale up production of science pack ones. And you know what? We may need to change our strategy. Should we have more than one research lab going? Like this is going to back up. We definitely need at least storage. So we'll think maybe we'll put these in an array too. Um, just move these over or something. And run a few of these in a row. I can't remember how the research works. If you can have multiple um, of these research machines researching on the same um, the same research item or not. Either way, it looks like we're going to have to scale it. So yeah, we'll leave it here for now. This is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this series on Foundry. This is just a demo. It's going to be available during the Steam Next Fest. In, uh, I think it's early October 2023, so it's coming up pretty soon as I record this. And then, man, I am hoping, hoping, hoping we learn soon about when we're going to get like an early access release or some kind of full release. But in the meantime, we will sink our teeth into this demo and we'll continue on in the next episode. I will see you then.